Hi, in this uh, video we want to talk about pivot tables. So we have these uh, data here with COVID cases. We have some states from New York, we have the case ID, we have also the name of the state where we have a report. We know that uh, in this case we have two persons from that family for a report and they are coming from area 2 of New York. Let's imagine that each state can be split in four areas. So we have always from 1 to 4. I don't know, maybe socially, um, economically and so on. We have four areas in uh, New York, Georgia and so on. So, um, for example, we have um, New York, two persons from that family. Um, this is a case ID and ARIA. For Georgia, we have three persons from the same family that was infected, the case number and the ARIA they come from, and so on. Now, if I want to insert a pivot table, I have to select the data. I select everything, including the heading of the table. And let's go to data, pivot table, insert, current selection, okay, and here we want to select some info. Let's have state. We want to group the info of based by state and for each state we want to know from which area the cases are. What we want to know? We want to know how many persons, the sum of the persons uh, from that Area. So we have what we wanted. Here is the data, here is a pivot table, a new sheet. And here we have Georgia with that for region of uh, that, uh, of Georgia. So for each area, we know how many persons were infected. In Georgia, in area 1, 20 persons and so on. Um, we can see we have report for each one. We can change very easy that we can remove area and we can now centralize data by states, not by area. So uh, we have everything we wanted group just by state. So let's insert a chart here. We have this chart. Let's add the um, data labels in order to see each um, each state. So, for example, here. Uh, no, I wanted to move the chart. Okay, so we can see now that New York has less cases and we want to remove that from our chart has so many so less cases that we don't want in the chart you can see now in this we have new york unchecked because we remove it from chart let's remove it we have info about just north carolina south carolina and virginia we can check them again we have all the info all the data here let's uh see another thing we can uh, filter things for example we want to know uh, only the cases where we have uh, more than uh, equal one person to three or four so we have uh, greater than one and uh, less or equal with four from this total so now we have 300 and if we check only the families with maximum five, uh, four persons, we have this number for each state. So you can see here the chart for this uh, updated uh, chart um, table. Let's add another criteria here in the filter. Maybe I want another thing. I want um, just from area one. We have 
31 cases with uh, 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 1 to 4 persons and area 1. Now we have 66, um, 56 persons in area 2 and so on. So it's very easy to customize what you need and what you want to see in your table. To remove it, it's very easy. Click here to none and everything is gone. We have the total here. We have no filter applied. Let's suppose we don't want the sum of the persons. We want to see how many cases we have. Let's see. Let's go to properties. We want by state, but not the sum of the persons. We want how many IDs, how many cases we have. Double click here and click count. I don't want to sum the numbers of cases. I want to count them. So I have 99 cases in my report. Let's see why. I have 101 rows here, but I have two rows for heading. So it's 99 cases exactly like here. So now I have the count of all cases and I know which state, um, how many reports uh, did I have for each state. Okay. Um, I could count, uh, let's see, I could uh, count by area, but it's the same thing because I have the same rows uh, in my table. Let's check here, we have many options, number only is the same. Okay, so now let's see, let's change. Uh, I want to see by state. Uh, let's see by area. I want to see in which area do we have problems. So let's see again, how many cases. N uh, no, I check the sum of the cases, so it's not okay. Uh, we want the same, we want count. Okay, you can see the total of IDs is not relevant. So I have the same total of 99 and we can know where are the most cases in area uh, 2. So we can go there and check what happens in that area that we have so many uh, cases. As you can see, we can filter them very easy. We can show how, what info do we need. Um, we can check many options here. We can change uh, the source uh, here where we get the data from the sheet data. Uh, what is my selection? I can move everything in a new sheet. Okay. So it's asking me something but it's in the back let's uh, move that no i don't want that and i have uh, here another pivot table so it's very easy to work with uh, that was all about um, pivot table thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video thank you